Okay, so I've tacked together the uh, the auxiliary battery box. I thought you might might have some minor interest in seeing the uh, comparison between the two here. Um, the obviously the right one is the stock uh, passenger side battery box, and uh, and uh, this one is the obviously the one I fabricated. Um, this uh, metal is a pain in the ass. I knew it was galvanized and uh, it really doesn't want to tack well, so I'm going to have to see if we have any muriatic acid to uh, strip the galvanizing off of it before I try and weld it anymore. Galvanizing is pretty nasty. You can see this powder that's coming off of it as well, just for the little bit of tacking I did there. And, uh, well, I don't know if it's a good idea to be fingering it like that, but I know it's a really bad idea to be inhaling it. And uh, even with that little bit of tacking, you can see all these little streamers floating around in the air before. So it's probably not a good idea to proceed any further if I don't have any uh, anything to strip that off. I probably should have went and just sanded it before I uh, put it together. But uh, not much I can do about it now because no matter what, there's always going to be a little bit in that gap there. Um, anyways, um, you can see some minor differences between the two. Um, Obviously, uh, the uh, the uh, stock one is stick uh, is a little tighter to the firewall there, and uh, the stock one also this flange and the uh, op opposing flange are actually almost even, and that's because of where they happen to go in the uh, in the core support. They're almost at the same level, whereas my uh, fabrication, because of where I had to uh, to uh, meet it it's actually sitting about three quarter to about a, an inch deeper than the uh, than the uh, inboard side so anyways just something for your own uh, ideas if you have to fabricate a bo battery box uh, uh, I will say this much this uh, 14 gauge steel here was a little too much for my uh, box and pan break it's only rated for 16 gauge and I really had to ream on it I hope I didn't go and bend something but well, other than this, but in any case, uh, forming these uh, ridges into it really, really stiffened up this uh, this piece of steel. This one is actually sitting almost perfectly flat, whereas this one is good and flat on the two flanged edges, but I actually had to do a little bit of beating on this edge to kind of get a warp out of it. So, uh, might not be a bad idea. I probably could have tipped a little bit of an edge on, on here to uh, just fold it over just enough to... Uh, to give it a little bit of strength. That might be something to remember for next time. In any case, there we go. Two and a half, three minutes of babbling about a battery box. Okay, there's the uh, extension on the uh, stock battery box so that it'll meet up with the original holes there. Uh, I really have to learn some uh, measure of patience because uh, I welded this uh, entire seam, not in one pass, but I did it from both sides. Uh, but yeah, I did enough that so that it, it slightly warped the uh, replacement piece, or the additional piece a bit. But uh, it's nothing too major. It occurred to me, once again, after the fact, I always think about this stuff afterwards, that I really didn't need to make a full length plate. I could have just made something that came out to here on this end and to here on that end, and then nobody would have cared. And it would have been a lot easier and a lot quicker to do, and I would have had better access rather than you know, working under here. You know, I had it flipped over, but all the same, it was difficult to access that point. Underneath, or that was hidden by the battery tray. Anyways, I'll fit this thing on, and then I suppose I'm going to try and weld up uh, that battery box. Okay, so this is all welded up. Little bit of, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, weld through. Probably with a little bit too much heat. But uh, all the welds look good and solid. And uh, I think I'll hold the battery quite nicely. I'm not going to do too much more because as it was, I could see this uh, plate uh, deformed a bit just from the heat on either side of it. And I was careful too. I didn't overheat it. I went and I was swapping back and forth. Anyways, that's it for today.